Uh, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Azmir Mohammed. I run products at Cloud Scaling. We're a uh, startup based out of San Francisco. And today I want to talk about uh, hybrid clouds and how we're building uh, hybrid clouds using OpenStack. So um, I think these are the things that a lot of our uh, customers are, are wondering around when, when they're either in the public cloud and they want to bring their applications home, what are the things that they have to really think about? And we spend a lot of time really uh, making sure that uh, you have a solution that's built around OpenStack, but it's a rethink of your entire stack from the certified hardware components to the reference architecture and obviously the software that you run in order to build your you know, modern cloud. And for, for cloud scaling, what we focus on relative to our uh, version of OpenStack um, is around production readiness. So we have customers that want to deploy clouds today. Uh, and these are, uh, these are clouds that span three to five racks of gear. Uh, and also public cloud federation. So a lot of our customers want to build, have a hybrid cloud strategy and they want to be able to federate out to a, a public cloud um, like an Amazon Web Services or a Google Compute Engine. But to be honest with you, we're agnostic to the type of public cloud that you would use. What we want to focus on is to help you build your private elastic cloud. So that's a, that, that's a key focus. But as I talk about this today, this really the notion of a private or public cloud really is not different from an implementation standpoint. It's just easier for me to go show you what that looks like. So those are the slides, and I'll try to run through a live demo here and really show the power of, uh, of, of OpenStack and also building uh, a hybrid cloud strategy around it. Everybody can see that? OK, so, so this is a standard demo that we do at Cloud Scaling for our customers to really show what it means when we talk about um, a hybrid cloud. And what's really important to us is to build a cloud that has API compatibility, but also behavioral compatibility. Let me show you what that looks like. So I've got, I built a bunch of, um, a bunch of scripts inside here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use a tool, actually it's a tool from Eucalyptus. It's a great tool for, you to, for us to use uh, in terms of running the same commands against uh, Amazon Web Services and also against our demo cloud that we have in San Francisco. So this, so this scrolled off here, I apologize. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and first of all and um, show you what these, uh... so I built a bunch of scripts and all they are, they're issuing commands. So I'm gonna, I've got a set of commands to source my credentials to EC2. If I were to go, there's another one that I use for, um, for OCS that connects it to my cloud. And then I've got a bunch of commands um, to create key pairs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a set of commands to Amazon Web Services. I'm going to issue the exact same commands against uh, OCS Go, which is our demo cloud. And I'll show you, I'll, 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 the last thing I'll show you today is OCS Go you can actually sign up and get a 30 day free trial on our demo cloud. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and connect up to um, EC2. Let's see here, maybe I can zoom out. You guys see that? Oh. Yeah, this is not going to work. Let me change the resolution here, guys. Sorry. So um, as you can see over here, I'm connected to Amazon Web Services on the West Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and create my key pair. All right, I'm going to create a security group.
and I'm going to go create instances. And so, um, as you can see here, I'm choosing, uh, uh, I'm putting in EC2 on this. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to OCS. OCS is the name of our product. And, you can use, and we're going to go through the exact, same, um, the exact same command set to spin up instances on an OpenStack cloud using the EC2 command set. So I'm going to spin up instances here on EC2. And I'm going to be lazy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the up arrow. I'm going to change EC2 to OCS. And you'll see that same fidelity go through and run on, um, on, uh, on an OpenStack cloud. So we're going to go through and source my credentials. I'm going to change this to OCS. So I'm connected to OCS Go, which is my demo cloud. I'm going to go ahead and create my key pair and change this to OCS. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create my security group. OK, but before I spin up instances here, I'm going to show probably a, a, a UI that you're familiar with, which is Horizon. So this is, this is Horizon. And right now, if I go under security, you'll see that the web tier that we just created is already there. You'll see that the key pair OCS is there, but there are no instances at this point. Right, there are no instances. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just click down here. I'm going to go ahead and create instances, OCS. And we'll start seeing instances come up here. There you go. So they're spawning right now, right? So what you see is, on one hand, I'm issuing commands that are uh, EC2 commands that are, you have on AWS, but what's, it's running against a private cloud that's based around OpenStack. And that's really the power of OpenStack that we see. It's open and agnostic. You've got all these API sets that you can run against. You can obviously can run your Nova commands, and that's fully supported. But you can also run AWS and also Google Compute Engine commands against the same, same API. All right. So, so that's great. So but that, I, I've only showed you a CLI command, and I've shown you Horizon. What about when you want to do multi-cloud management? So I'm going, to do a, um, I'm going to do a short demo here of a multi-cloud solution. We're partners with WhiteScale. And WhiteScale is well known in the Amazon community in terms of managing a variety of uh, loads on their public cloud. But what they've also done is they've also integrated into OpenStack. And that's what we see here. If you go under uh, settings and we go under clouds, you'll see that in addition to AWS and all the regions that are supported, you also have OpenStack as a supported cloud. So you can actually have a hybrid cloud strategy implemented using WriteScale where you have your public cloud on one side and you can have your private cloud based on OpenStack on the other side. Well, that's not where the fund ends. You can go ahead now and be able to let me go into the dashboard here. You can actually, the, the power of this is really less about the fact that you can do a hybrid strategy, but you can deploy an application across both your private and public clouds. And so what you see over here, down here, is um, so I've actually got a couple of, um, a couple of apps that are deployed um, that can span across both a private and public cloud. And these apps that people are building on these new Elastic Clouds are different because in addition, it's so if, who, who's familiar with VMware? No, nobody's familiar with VMware? So one of the more popular features on, on vSphere is VMware HA. And what it does is it allows you to protect against um, failure of your server hardware. But a lot of customers that are building applications for OpenStack are building it so that the application takes care of uptime. And so what I'm going to show you in, in WriteScale is the ability for you to write an application that runs on an OpenStack cloud that has no HA, but it can restart itself if there's a, if there's a failure in the application. So this is the, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what the, uh, what the deployment looks like. And the deployment is made of a memcache server. And let me just look at, let me show you what, what that looks like. 
So I've created a policy here that says there needs to always be two of these servers running all the time, right? And if there's a failure in one, I've got to be able to spin up uh, an instance immediately. So what I'm going to do, I've created a script here. Oh, and by the way, if you, if you notice, these are the, um, these are the uh, uh, virtual machines that we spun up using the EC2 commands. Rightscale sees it, right? So all the things that we're doing around the cloud, there are ways, via, because these, this cloud is API driven, as long as your tool can read into the API, you're good to go. Everything is seen. So you can choose whether you want to use the tools, you want to use Horizon, you want to use Rightscale or Scalar or any other homegrown tool. It doesn't matter with OpenStack. So what I'm going to do here, if you notice, I've got a, I've got a, um, I've got a uh, uh, script to terminate one of the instances in Memcache. And if I can go over to the right side here, hopefully, Let's see here, can I get to the right side? No, don't do that. Okay. I'm going to go back to my standard display. Uh, I think it's this. What's going on here? Okay, better. So I'm going to run that script, and what it's going to do is going to kill one of my memcache servers, and you'll see it pop up again, and we'll see it happen. On, um, on a couple of different, different places. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it on the oldest instance. So if we go back to Horizon and I'm going to go into admin, you'll see that I have um, two instances running of memcache. So I've got a, let's see here, where is this? There's a memcache server nine, and there's also a memcache server eight somewhere in here. Yep, that one here. So I'm going to kill memcache server eight. So what you'll see after this demo, you'll see a memcache server 10 show up. So we'll go ahead and run on oldest. All right. So we'll see some updates here on this side in a minute. Let's flip back to here. Takes a couple minutes to, to boot up. But this is the, this is the thing that we're seeing with, with customers is that instead of building an application that is highly dependent on the infrastructure, they're allowing the application and the software to take advantage of, their, uh, of, of managing the uptime. And so what you can do is you can deploy much lower um, uh, cost hardware, but still deliver the same SLAs for your application. And as a developer, that's important because they have full control over the uptime of their, uh, of their applications. Let's see here what's going on. Just run this again. Okay. All right, so I got one more minute, so I may get cut off here before the script runs. But the, the, this, is the, this is sort of the power of the, of the hybrid cloud. You can actually run these tiers of memcache. You can run it in your private cloud. You can decide you want to run it on the, um, on the public cloud. You can build it out, and you can auto-scale a variety of things. 
Um, the right scale is one of the various tools available for you to do this. Obviously, for those of you familiar with uh, OpenStack Heat, this is, this is effectively the same type of um, uh, promise that Heat brings to the table. And so we're, we're extremely motivated to go ensure that these kind of uh, hybrid cloud deployments across private and public continue to happen and really drive towards consumption of these new type of applications that take advantage of, um, of the resource across. But it begins with, it begins with uh, fidelity at the API level and also at the behavior level because what you want to do when you write these applications, you want them to look at the cloud and see the same basic fabric. So there's no difference, there's no translation that needs to occur, and that's where the power of uh, OpenStack comes in because it's so open, um, you, you have all these variety of uh, capabilities that you can have. It doesn't have to be peered towards another OpenStack cloud, it can be peered to any cloud out there, and we just need to maintain the API fidelity. So um, it doesn't look like it ran here, I apologize. I don't know what, uh, what went wrong here, but um, you can come by the booth, uh, Cloud Scaling, we're towards the lunch area, and uh, I'm sure it'll, it'll run again, but this is something that, uh, that we put a lot of promise in and something that I think you can uh, get a lot of benefit from. So thanks again, appreciate the time.